Happy New Year to everybody joining us. Happy New Year to, new, to you, Shanae. Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Shanae. Praise, praise the Lord. Good to have you on today. I know that God has a great plan for you. God has a great plan for every one of us. It's going to be a great year. All right, let's 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 like it. Let's share it on our timeline as we begin to get ready to receive from God. As we begin to get ready to receive God's word, this is a great day. Great things are going to happen. Amen. God has a word for us, and um, our lives are going to be impacted. There's going to be transformation. There's Amen. going to be change. Amen. Joy is going to fill our hearts. There's going to be direction. God will be speaking today. Amen. God will be speaking to our hearts. Amen. There is a now word from the throne of grace. I know that you will be a partaker of God's blessing. So share it on your timeline. Let your friends know we are on. Let's spread the word and show some like and, you know, get everybody on. Woman of God, welcome. Happy New Year to you Happy again. Year. and. Um, what a Happy joy, what a privilege we have to be back to look into God's word and to hear the mind of the Father. Are you excited about what God is doing? I'm excited for this brand new year and I want every one of you to get excited because God has spoken good concerning us. So that's why we are here today just to let you know, come along in this journey. Great things will happen for you in Jesus name. Amen. God has spoken good concerning us is a prophetic year this year is a prophetic year is a year uh that god has ordained by himself this is the lord's year Amen. uh you know as we came into the year god spoke expressly to my heart and god said this is the year of the lord's favor Amen. so this is god's year it's going to be a great year it's going to be an amazing year Amen. it's going to be a year to be much remembered Amen. it's going to be a year where things everything is going to turn in our favor Amen. it's the year of the lord's favor Amen. so expect favor expect favor good to have you everyone on uh minister erica is on good to have you share the link okay she just shared it amen share the link and let us let your friends know we are on and it's going to be great so like i'm saying to us this is the year of the lord's favor and the favor of god will mark us out amen. in the name of jesus christ amen. i'm really excited about what god is said to do you know god says i know the plans i know the thoughts I know the purpose. I know the agenda that I have prepared for you. Amen. And he says, it's not just any kind of plan. It's not just any kind of purpose. It's not any kind of agenda. It's a great plan. Amen. It's an amazing plan. Amen. It's an exciting plan. Amen. He said to give you a future and a hope. Amen. You know, and also I think in Exodus, he said, I have sent my angel That's to right. go with you, to bring you into the place where I have prepared. Amen. So there are some things that have been prepared for us. Amen. There are some things that God is going to do. So get excited. And as we begin to look into God's word, the things that have been prepared by God will be unfolded to us. Amen. And the things that are revealed, the Bible says the secret things belong to the Lord. But those things which are revealed, they belong to us and to our children that we may do all that God has promised. So there are things that have been revealed to us, but essentially it's our year of the Lord's favor. Amen. And favor will mark out your life. Amen. Favor will turn things in your around for you. Amen. The favor of the Lord will bring perfection. Amen. The favor of the Lord will bring abundance. Amen. The favor of the Lord will bring all your heart desires to come to pass Amen. because this is the year of the lord's favor Amen. and i want to prophesy that you will enjoy god's favor Amen. in jesus name Amen. 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 woman of god what's on your heart before we get into the message today Amen. what's on your heart i just i just want to say it again you were reading um you were quoting exodus 23 verse 20 it says behold i send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which i have prepared Beloved, God has prepared great things for us in 2017. 
all you need to do is allow God to hold your hands so that he can take you to the things that he has prepared. He can take you to the places he has prepared he can, so that he can take you to the glorious destiny he has prepared for you. It is the year of the Lord's favor. So God will make things happen for you this year in the name of Jesus. It will not be by power. It will not be by might. It will be by the spirit of the Lord this mm. year in the name of Jesus. So, so we are glad that you are on today. The favor of God will speak. Amen. The favor of God will speak. But today, what we want to do, what the Holy Spirit has laid in our hearts uh, is to do is to share with God's people, um, you know, the secrets, some powerful motivation. Because as believers, we need to know how uh, to get inspired, how to get motivated, how to connect with the heart of God is very, very important as believers that we know how to do that, you know, because our attitude is not just what we do, but how we do the things that we do. What is the motivation behind what we do? What is the driving force? What is inside us that is compelling us to do what we do? Mm -hmm. It's just like the engine, you know, the, the primary factor that helps us to do everything that we do with God. Mm -hmm. We need to know what those things are. Mm -hmm. And as we know those things, as we connect with those things, and those things begin to work in our life, then they're going to empower us to be able to do what we do. You know, mm -hmm. as we journey in the air, God talks about the little attitude that makes the difference. Amen. There are some things that can differentiate us from others. Right. There are some things that can spice up our walk with God as believers that can help us to walk into the fullness of everything that God has for us. Mm -hmm. So those are the things we're going to look at today. We, you know, and it's going to be awesome. Good to have you, Brother L from Philly. Good to have you on. We're going to acknowledge you as you come. Please share this. Let your friends know we are on. Let share it on your timeline. Let your friends know that we are on. And you know, as we get into the world, so we want to look at this. This attitude, the Holy Spirit actually wired this thought in my heart, and I believe is a strengthener for every one of us, everyone that is a child of God. Because it's not everyone just everyone that desires to be a child of and God. And everyone that desires to be a child of God. That's powerful. <laughs> everyone that's a child of God and everyone that desires to be a child of God. Amen. So this is a strengthener, this is a motivational factor. So that it, because as we understand this simple a powerful secret that the Holy Spirit will be showing to us today. For some of us, it will be a reminder. Right. It will be a reiteration. But we need to understand it and make sure that our faith is grounded in what we are doing. And as we do that, we're not going to be the same again. So that's what we're going to look at, you know, um, as we walk with God. What is the attitude that we need to embrace in our faith work? How do we engage God's principles? What are the attitudes that we need to, you know, uh, embrace or the attitude we need to have as we engage the principles of God as we follow scriptural examples so that we can know how to position ourselves into all that God has for us. So those are the things we're going to discuss and uh, we're going to be sharing our hearts and if you have a question, you have um, you have a thought, whatever it is on your heart, just you know share it and we're going to be able to receive it and we're going to be able to discuss it. But this powerful things the holy spirit dropped in my heart and he said to me these are the things that we need to remind the believers and anyone that wants to come with him so that we can enjoy the full blessing the full package the blessings that god releases to his people mm -hmm. so we're just going to go into the world the first thing that the holy spirit dropped in my heart that will help us today is in james chapter 4 and verse number 8 and we're going to look into the scriptures because you need to have a persuasion you need to have Someone you believe, you need to believe God, you need to believe His word, you need to have you need to believe somebody. And if there is anybody we can believe, it should be God. If you want to believe, believe God. And when you believe God, you need to believe His words, you need to stand on His word, you need to take Him at His word. In um, James chapter 4 and verse number 8, I want you to read this, and it's very powerful. We'll take it maybe as I say, the scripture just read it and it will help us. The Bible says, Draw near to God. And he will draw near to you. Mm -hmm. Cleanse your hearts, your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, you double minded. You see, that's a very powerful word that is very essential. He said, Draw near unto God, and he will draw near to unto you. Right. So, you see, your relationship with God is not dependent on God. Mm. My relationship with God is not essentially dependent on God. The, the much of God I enjoy. The blessings of God I enjoy is a function of my relationship with Him. Mm. 
You know, so the more we understand this truth, the better it is for us. Mm -hmm. So if you understand that until you draw near unto God, he said, draw near unto God, and he will draw near unto you. So if you want to be, if you want God to be close to you, you have to make the move to be close to God. Mm -hmm. If you want God, it's how we, we, we relate with God that determines how God reacts to us. Mm -hmm. It's our own move towards God that causes God to move to us. You know, many of us, sometimes we're wondering, where is God? Is God really for me? Is God really on my side? But God is saying, as long as you are for him, Amen. he will be for you. Amen. As long as you are drawing closer to him, Amen. he will make himself available to you. Amen. It is we that, it is our own attitude, our own action, the move we make towards God that determines God's move towards us. Amen. That is very profound and very, very, very powerful. Amen. If you want to enjoy God this year and all the days of your life, one of the attitudes you must develop is for you to keep pressing your way, Amen. pressing your way to the heart of God. Amen. Make sure that you are reaching out to him in all the ways he has revealed. Amen. And the more you reach out to him, the more he will reach out to you. Amen. But if you don't he reach out to him, he will now reach out to you. He has made the ultimate move. That's right. Amen. He gave us his son, Jesus Christ. Right. He has declared his love. But we have to reciprocate. Amen. And as how do we reciprocate? He said, draw near unto me and I will draw near unto you. Amen. You know, Jesus gave a parable of the prodigal son. That's right. The father has two sons. One, one came and said, Father, give me all the inheritance I have and I'm gone. He took his inheritance and left. The other son was in the house. He was a busy worker. And he wasn't enjoying the blessings of the father. But you see, the father was neutral. The father never called the son that left. Or he never tried to, you know, bring the son that was with him to tell him that, look, this is what you need to do. Right. But when the son that left returned, mm -hmm. the Bible says the moment he began to drop back to the father, right. the father ran to meet him. Mm -hmm. So it's our action towards God that determines God's reaction towards us. Amen. It's our move towards God that determines God's move towards us. Amen. Good to see uh, Dickness Pat on. Good to have you, man. Good to have you. Amen. Let us know where you're joining from. Good to have you. So, share this link and let your friends know. So, the first, you know, revelation that the Holy Spirit dropped on my heart, and I believe will help every one of us. You can be close to God, and you can have God close to you, closer than anybody on earth in this year. Right. But you have to make sure that you make a move to be closer to God. And the more you move towards being closer to God, the more you're going to feel him. Mm -hmm. The more you're going to know that he's there for you. The more you're going to experience his goodness. Amen. The more you're going to experience his blessing. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. I'm just, I'm just enjoying this because, because you said it right. And that was the first thing that came to my mind. God has already made the ultimate move. Mm. He was the one that initiated the move in the first place. Mm. So he made the first move. So now he expects us to make the move towards him. Mm. So as we continue to draw to and towards him, mm -hmm. he will keep drawing himself towards us. Mm. Amen. So this is just powerful. I would just be enjoying you today. Just keep on going on. I would just be cheering <laughs> you on. So, so the more we draw near unto God, the more he will draw near unto us. So I will encourage you this year, make sure if you want to enjoy God, God is saying, I'm available. Mm -hmm. But anyone that will draw near to me, I will draw near unto him. Amen. So you can be close to God. You can be God's confident. Look, thank you, Holy Spirit. You remember Abraham? Right. The Bible said when, when God was going to visit Abraham, God just passed by. He passed by Abraham's house mm. in Genesis chapter number 18. And God passed him by, mm. and God didn't say a word to him. But Abraham saw them and ran towards them. Right. And the moment he ran towards them, he pleaded with the Godhead. And I believe that's the, that's the first appearance of the Trinity. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He said, come into my house. So when he pleaded with them, they went to him. So And they went to him. Look at it. They were carrying his blessing. He has been believing God for a child. He has been believing God for a miracle. But God came and passed by him to see how he was going to react. That's so right. it's our reaction towards God that determines God's reaction towards us. Mm -hmm. That's a very powerful scripture. Very James powerful. chapter number 4 verse 8. It is very important. You, and I believe that you are going to enjoy the best of God in this year. But the key, as God is revealing to us, that's what the Holy Spirit wired in my spirit. He said, draw near unto God 
and God will draw near unto you. Amen. So you are the one that determines how close you are with God, by how close you make yourself to him. So don't begin to say, where is God? I wish God would come near to me. God has already given us the open door. He has already given us the open invitation. He's showing us what to do. As we draw near to God, God will draw near unto us. Amen. So I want you to say with me right where you are. Say, this year, this year, I received the grace. I received the grace to draw near unto God. To draw near unto God. To press my way. To press my way into the heart of the into Father. Into the heart of the to Father. To become. To become the Father's beloved. The Father's beloved. Amen. Amen. You know, because if I value God mm -hmm. and I love God with all my heart and I show Him how much I love Him, He's going to respond to loving me. That's right. He's going to respond to loving me. But if I despise him. If I don't give him the attention that he deserves, that means I'm not telling him, I'm not showing him by my actions that I really want more of him. Right. So the more of God you want, the more of God you're going to enjoy. Mm -hmm. So God is available to you to the extent to which you allow yourself mm -hmm. to, to be available to him. Amen. That's very powerful. Amen. And that's a life changer. Amen. And I know it's going to change your life. It's going to Amen. change things in your life. Amen. So receive grace one more time Amen. to be closer to God. I and God grace. will be closer to you. To Amen. draw near to God. You know, one of the song, one of the psalmist songs, he said, I'm, I'm pressing my way through. Right. I'm pressing my way through. I'm going to press my way to the heart of the Father. Right. I'm going to draw near unto him in every, with every opportunity that comes my way. Every opportunity, every opportunity I have, I'm going to make a move towards God. You know, also, the scriptures that just flooded my spirit, the woman with the issue of blood, yeah. she was the one that ran after Jesus. Wow. Blood Bartimaeus, all he heard was footsteps. And he ran, he began to shout, Jesus, have mercy on me. And, and the Bible says, when you honor God, God will honor you. You understand? Wow. So God has already made the initial move. So we need to continue to press. Beloved, press this year. This is your year. Keep Amen. drawing, keep pressing, keep pressing after God. Amen. Amen. Don't be like the onlookers. That's Don't be right. like those who will stand from afar and say, I'm going to see what God will do. He said, draw near unto me and I will draw near unto you. And he said, it, he said those that come to me, I will in no wise cast out. No. no. So the more we draw near to God, the more God will draw near unto us. And that's Amen. a very powerful Amen. truth that I believe will be a motivation. So somebody say, why are you, you know, why are you driving? Why are you so interested about God? Why are you always God minded? Why are you always doing the things, you know, God, God things. Everything is God, God in your life. It's because I want to Caught his love. Amen. I want him to be drawn. I want him to be near unto me. Amen. I want him to show himself alive in my situation. Amen. So I have to make the move. So that would differentiate me from others. That's I don't know what. I don't know who anybody wants to be close to them. But I want God to I be close to me. To close I to want, me and I know that you want God to be close to you. And as we draw near unto God, God will draw near unto you. And this Amen. year you're going to experience God's presence in your life around you like never before. Amen. One of the prince. One of the uh, advantages of having God with you is that if God be for you, oh, hallelujah. everything will work in your favor. Amen. When the way of a man pleases the Lord, Amen. he makes even his enemies to be at peace with, with him. Amen. So God will be pleased with you and Amen. everything is going to work in your favor Amen. in this year. I will prophesy because it's the year of the Lord's favor. Amen. You are cutting God's favor this Amen. year and you'll be the favor of God. Everywhere Amen. you go from this year, people will begin to see the glory of God. The, you know, the Shekinah glory of God Amen. upon your life. You know, I went somewhere uh, over the weekend, and somebody they saw me. They said, "They said different glow on That's your right. life, you know." And they were unbelievers. I said, "Something is so different about you." <laughs> I said, "I'm pressing my way That's into right. the heart of the Father, Amen. and that's what people will see on your life in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ." The second ingredient, and I believe these are ingredients that will help our Christian walk, mm -hmm. so that we will be forever motivated, will be excited about serving God, That's will right. be energized, and will be receiving all that God has for us. The second. Um, Insight or the revelation that the Holy Spirit gave to me is also in Jeremiah 29 and verse number 13. Jeremiah 29, 13. The Bible says, And you shall seek me mm -hmm. and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. You shall seek me mm. and find me mm. when you shall search for me with all your heart. Yes. Did you see that again? Mm. So God is saying again in another way. He said, look, I'm available, mm. but it, I'm for seekers. Mm. You shall seek me mm. and find me mm. 
when you search for me with all your heart. So finding God, enjoying God is also your responsibility, my responsibility, Amen. our collective responsibility. So God is saying, I am available for those who will seek me. Mm. So what we need in this year is a seeker's grace. Amen. Seeker's grace. Grace to seek God. Amen. Grace to seek God. You know, one of the things about God is that God hided himself. Mm. God is the God that hided himself. Mm. That is very profound. In fact, God doesn't hide. You know, you know people have opinion about what who God is or what God should behave like, but God always reveals himself to us in his word. That's right. He says, is the God that hideth himself. Mm -hmm. So now he's saying, you shall seek me. That's what right. do you seek? You only seek something that is not obvious. Mm -hmm. If it was obvious to find him, he would say, you shall seek me. Mm -hmm. Because it's the God you cannot see. That's right. But you have to seek him in faith. Mm -hmm. You have to seek him with the whole of your heart. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm not just going to be available to casual seekers. I'm going to be available to wholehearted seekers. Mm. Those who will seek me with the whole of their heart. Amen. And as you do that, you say, you shall find me when you seek for me with all your heart. Amen. And when you do that, you say, you shall find rest for your soul. Hallelujah. So the rest is available for Amen. our souls. Amen. When we find God, when we, when we seek him and we shall find him, when we seek for him with all our heart. Amen. So make up your mind to be a heart seeker. Receive a seeker's grace. Amen. That's what will make a difference right. in our lives. Mm -hmm. And he said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He said, you shall find rest for your soul. Yes. So the rest you need on your job, in your relationship, in your career, in your finances, in every aspect of your life, the rest I need, the rest we need mm -hmm. is available with God. Mm -hmm. But we got to be seekers. Mm -hmm. We got to seek God with all our heart. Amen. God is God is you know man, God God sees differently. That's right. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Amen. And as you look, as you give your heart to God, as you seek God with all your heart, you're going to find Him. Amen. And as you find Him, He's going to reveal Himself to you, and He's going to show you great and mighty things which you don't know. Amen. That's why he said in Jeremiah 29 and verse number 12, he said, then he said, I know the plans I have for you, the plans to prosper you, mm. to give you a future and a hope. He said, but you shall go and pray unto me. That's right. You shall pray unto me. Then I will show you what you don't know. Mm. I will show you the things that will make you great and mighty. And God will be showing you things in this year. Amen. The things that will change your life. Amen. The things that will add color to, to your present situations, Amen. your present circumstances, the things that will take you from where you are to where you ought to be. Amen. It's available to God. Amen. The secret things belong to God, but God reveals them to seekers. Amen. So as you seek God with all your heart, as you seek him with all your heart, he's going to reveal himself to you. Amen. Powerful woman Amen. of God. This is, this is very powerful, beloved. I want to encourage you. Don't just seek God in January alone. This is the year of the Lord's favor. If you want to, de uh, if you desire to enjoy favor this year, then you need to seek God continually, faithfully, dedicatedly, seeking with the whole of your heart. Don't do it only on Sundays. Don't do it once in a while. Seek the Lord with the whole of your heart and God will say to you this year. Look at what that Jeremiah 29 verse 14 it's says. 20, Jeremiah 29 and verse number 13. And I've, I mean, Jeremiah 29 verse 13. Go ahead. Jeremiah 29 verse 13, that was what we read. And yeah. you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with the whole of your heart. And verse 14 says, I will be found of you, saith the Lord. Mm. So it is definite, it is sure. Mm. You are not guessing, there is no assumption about this. Mm. You know that as you continue to press your way, beloved, you will find God this year. Mm. God will reveal himself to you. Mm. God will show himself strong on your behalf concerning your marriage, concerning your children, concerning your desires, concerning your dreams. You will find God. God will show himself strong on your behalf this year. But you must continue to do with the whole of your heart, with the whole of your soul, with the whole of your might. Do it continuously, dedicatedly, not just at the beginning of the year. 
but all the days of this year, and you will enjoy God's favor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Very powerful. You know, uh, somebody was asking what is the reference, and I believe you got it, Brother L. Is uh, that's Jeremiah twenty nine thirteen? That's the reference for this scripture. Uh, Sister Adi has joined. Let us know where you're joining from and um, share this link with your friends. I believe this is a very powerful word. If you take it to heart, these words came from the heart of the Holy Spirit. Amen. These are the things that will. These are the things that serve as the ingredient in our work with God. Amen. Very essential because what you are doing, if you don't have a motivation, if you don't have a reason for doing it, then you could easily quit on it. You could easily be discouraged. Your uh, your zeal could be dampened. But if I know that God has already said to me it's not like hide and seek and god has already said to me you know if you seek me you shall find me you remember in matthew chapter number 25 i believe um i think chapter 15 there was a woman a a cypher a woman who was hiding who when jesus was actually hiding himself you know jesus is god mm. matthew chapter 15 the bible says look at uh uh verse number 21 what did he say there? He said Jesus was hiding himself. He said he didn't want no one to know that he was there. But there was a woman that heard that Jesus was there. Mm -hmm. And when she heard that Jesus was there, she went to him. She went to him and began to cry to him. He went into that city. He didn't want, to, he didn't want nobody to know he was there. Mm -hmm. But this woman found out that Jesus was there. That is the kind of God we serve. Mm -hmm. God can be in a place and you might think that, oh, God is not in this place. You remember, J Jacob slept in a place and God was there. And he woke up in the morning and said, wow, God was in this place and I didn't know it. That's right. So because it's, that's why it's, it's invisible. If God wanted to be seen, he would have made himself visible. Mm -hmm. But God wants to hide. That's why he makes himself invisible. Mm -hmm. And because he hides himself, he also wants people to be able to find him. Amen. And say, you shall seek for me and find me. Even though I am hiding myself, I can become visible to you. Amen. I can become real to you. That's While right. others will be saying they can't see God. They don't know if God is alive. You will be saying, no, I talked to him. I spoke That's with right. him this morning. Right. He spoke to me today. Right. I heard his voice. That's he right. opened the door for me. Amen. He showed me the way. Amen. He has blessed me. He's, he's alive. He's real. He, I can see him. That's you will right. hear him. You will see him. But because you have sought for him and you have found him. Amen. Amen. That's powerful. That's, Very powerful. That's powerful. So when 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 you are when you know what you are doing, you know when you are seeking for God, you won't feel tired. No. You won't feel discouraged. You'll be motivated. You'll be excited. You keep doing things that you know are drawing close to God. Amen. Even even if nobody can see that, you know what you are doing. Amen. And that will be an internal driving force. Amen. And that's what the Holy Spirit is telling us. These are ingredients that will help our life. Let's take the next point. Amen. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse number 7. Proverbs 8. It's our attitude towards God that determines God's attitude towards us. That's what, we're, what the Holy Spirit is emphasizing. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 7. Mm -hmm. verse, I mean verse number 17. I love them that love me, mm -hmm. and those that seek me early shall find me. Wow. I love them that love me. Mm -hmm. I love you, Jesus. Amen. I love, you see again, God is saying to us, is we are the one that would determine how we react. Now, he's saying, I'm available for love, mm. but I love those who love me. Amen. So how can I ensure that God loves me? How can I get God to love me? Mm. I don't wait for God to love me. I begin to pour my love on him. Mm. The more I love God, mm. the more of God's love I'm going to experience. Amen. The more I show my love to God, the more of God's love I'm going to enjoy. Amen. I love them that love me. Amen. It's very clear. So Amen. God is a lover. Make up your mind to be a lover. Amen. Fall in love with Jesus. Amen. Fall in love with Jesus to, at another level. Amen. Love him with all your heart. He said, thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And when you love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, God also will love you mm. much more That's right. with everything. He will bestow his love. In fact, it will be evident. You know, the Bible says, eyes have not seen. That's right. 1 Corinthians 2 and. Uh, 
9 and I mean 8, 9 and 10. Mm-hmm. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Mm-hmm. It has not entered the heart of men. Mm-hmm. The things which God has prepared for, for them that love him. For them that love him. Amen. So when you are a lover of God, mm-hmm. the things that God has prepared for his lovers. Eyes have not seen it. I don't know what it is for you, but eyes have not seen it. You might be able to, you know, live in the best house that any man can live. I don't know what it is. You might ride the best cars. I don't know. You can enjoy the secrets that no one has ever had access to. Because what God has prepared for his lovers is not for all. Eyes have not seen it. Yes, I've not heard it. It has not even entered to the hearts of men. Hallelujah. But God will reveal them to us by his spirit Amen. when we fall in love with him. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. I thank the Lord for this, um, for today's teaching. And I believe as you, as you are following along, your life will not remain the same this year. This is not an ordinary year. This is the year of the Lord's favor. Mm. Talking about God's love. In order for us to love God, then we have to receive his own love. Mm. Because it is not something we can do in our strength. Mm. God is the one that has poured his love on us. Mm. All we need to do is accept this love. He's mm. the one that gives us the grace to love him. Mm. So as you receive the love of God, you are able also to pour this love back onto him. Mm. I like this song. Falling in love with, with Jesus. Jesus. Falling in love with the Lord. Falling in love with Jesus is the best thing I've ever done. Yes, it's the best Amen. thing. It's, it's the just, best it's thing. You know, and the, how do, like you rightly said, how do we love God? The Bible says the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Romans chapter 5 and number 5. Amen. The love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost. Amen. As we allow the Spirit of God to, to have His place in our life, Amen. as we yield to the Spirit of God, right. we're going to experience the love of God in our heart. Amen. And that love will enable us to reach out to God. So it's Amen. not by power, no. it's not by mind, Amen. but by my Spirit. Say the Lord. So as we open ourselves to the Holy Spirit, the love of God will flow in our heart. And as that love flow in our heart, God is going to see that we are loving him. Amen. And as we love him, Amen. he's going to show his love towards us. Amen. And eyes have not seen, Amen. you know, ears have not heard the things which God has prepared for them that, that love him. Amen. And you're going to be a proof Amen. of divine love. Amen. You're going to have testimonies Amen. of the love of God. Amen. It will be evident Amen. that God has shown his love on you Amen. in this year in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Because love comes with honor. That's right. Love comes with beauty. Amen. Love comes with blessing. Amen. So when God will beautify your life, Amen. he will honor you Amen. and he will deck you with his glory. Amen. You know, so when you Amen. love God, the things that, you know, you're going to be entering into blessings. You're going to be entering into miracles. Thank you're going to be enjoying God. favor. Amen. You're going to be hearing what, people others can hear right. you're going to begin to see signs and wonders flowing in your life Amen. things are going to be easy for you Thank you, you know Lord. blessings are going to flow in your life Amen. as you show your love for god Amen. you're going to enjoy what god has prepared for them that love him Amen. glory be to god hallelujah that is so powerful you know, Hallelujah. look at the next verse. I want us to touch something there because why do I need to love God? He said, I love them that love me, and they that seek me early shall find me. Mm-hmm. He said in the next verse, say, Yeah, durable riches, mm-hmm. du- enduring r- riches and honor are with me. Yeah, durable riches and righteousness. Yeah, so do and enduring riches mm, right. riches that endure that's the right. riches of his grace mm. the riches of his wisdom Amen. the riches of his love Amen. the riches of his peace Amen. the riches of prosperity Amen. durable riches riches in all all all, all dimensions that's right. he said they are with me that's so right. and as you love him because you can't hide anything from lovers that's right. what i have because of love is yours Amen. what you have it's mine. Amen. Because of love, we open our resources to each other. Right. And when you love God, you're going to open your resources to God, and God is going to open His own resources to you. Amen. His resources of wisdom, Amen. His resources of grace, Amen. His resources of ability. Mm. The riches of God's ability will be working for you right. because you love God. Amen. Very, very powerful. That is powerful. And that, I believe that was what happened also concerning Abraham. When um, in a, in the book of Genesis, um, 
Genesis 18, 17. And the Lord says, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Mm. So that means when you love God, God can't hide things from you. Mm. He will begin to show you things that will make you great and mighty. Mm -hmm. He'll begin to show you things that others cannot even reveal to you. Mm -hmm. He'll begin to open doors to you. He'll begin to give you the strategies, the concept, the ideas. He'll begin to open up your mind and your vision and your imaginations to things that have not been made known to other people because you are a lover of God. Because you are a lover of God. Amen. The favor of God will speak in your life Amen. because you are a lover of God. Amen. The blessings of God will overflow in your life Amen. because you are a lover of God. Amen. You know, Amen. You know, God always wants to find, do we love him? Mm. Do we love him? He said to Abraham, do you love me? He said to Peter, do you love me? Mm. So he said, I love them that yeah, love, love me. me. And they that love me will enjoy mm. riches and oh, honor. No. And that Hallelujah. is that will be your portion, that will be your Amen. lot, that will be your inheritance Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So let's fall in love with Jesus, Amen. you know. Let's fall in love with Jesus and let our love be an intoxicating love. Mm. Let it be obvious to all that you are a lover of God. Amen. You know, people will tell you that, come on, yours is too much. Yeah, because I'm I'm taking my love level to a a, a, a dimension that only I can be satisfied with because I don't know, you know, I don't know your desire, but I want to love God so that I can enjoy the flow of his love in my life. Mm. So I'm going to go the extra mile Amen. to demonstrate my love. I'm going to do all that the Holy Spirit will teach me to do. That's I'm going to love his word. Amen. I'm going to love the things that, that, that God is interested in. Amen. And I'm going to demonstrate my love for God. Amen. And as I do that, mm. God is going to love me. Say, I love them that, that love me. Amen. So when somebody says, I don't feel that God loves me. God can love you, he can love you at any time, but you have to make the initiative. Mm. You have to start by showing him you love him, mm. then it's going to reciprocate. Mm. So don't wait for God's love. You pour your love on God, mm. and God will pour his love on you. Amen. You know what? God has actually demonstrated his own love towards us. The Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died. Mm. I have not seen that man that's able to die for anybody. Mm. I love my husband. He loves me. Can you die for me? Well, I mean, I can give you a part of my heart if you want it. But Jesus has already paid the ultimate but price. But Jesus laid his, his life down for... He died a gruesome death. He was beaten. He was, he was bruised. He died for you. He died for me. So God has already demonstrated his love towards us. So he has given us the ability to love him in return. So if people ask you that, why are you loving God too much? Tell them he first showed me how to love. And that is why now I can love him in return. So don't be ashamed when you love God and people are saying you love him too much. I am not ashamed. I love him. I can say it on the rooftop because he first loved me. And he has given me the grace to love him in return. Lord, I love you. Amen. Amen. And as we love him, he's going to continue to love us. Amen. So keep loving God. Amen. Keep loving God. Amen. Keep loving God. Amen. Good to see you. Uh, Mrs. Olani Kweku, God bless you. Happy Amen. New Year to you. Good to see you. Share this on your Facebook. Every one of you that is joining, let people know you are on. This is a very powerful word. This is a life changer. These are the ingredients that will make our work with God exciting, Amen. inspirational. Amen. It will motivate us. It will energize us. So we're not just doing things as if we are religious people. No, we are doing things based on a relationship. Amen. The relationship we have with God. Amen. And as we walk in that relationship, the blessings will begin to flow. Amen. 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 So let's move on to the tough thing. These are the ingredients that the Holy Spirit sh shed in my heart and showed to us. And we're sharing with you that will help spice your work. You know, it's what, what, is, what is the motivation? What is the driving force? Why are you doing what you are doing? Mm -hmm. These things, people can't see it, but they will form the basis of your faith. Mm -hmm. They will form the basis of our relationship with God. So we look at um, Psalm 37, verse number 4. Psalm 37. Psalm 37, verse 4. Yes, good to have, good to have you join. Amen. Mrs. Lloyd Okoro, God bless you. Amen. Good to have you. Please let us know where you're joining from. Glory be to God. And share this link. Thank God for everyone that is joining. 
Amen. Yes, Pastor oh, Pastor Baturi, Pastor Andrew. Oh, God bless you, my pastor. God bless you. We're glad to have everyone on. Amen. Share this link. Let us know how this word is blessing you. If you have a question, you have a thought, share with us. And we'll be able to, you know, come together and talk about it. But we're share. We're looking today at the secret ingredients, the secret of, you know, our work with God. Attitude that we need to embrace as we work with God in this year that will help energize us, that will excite us, that will keep our work with God exciting, that will be the driving force in our spirit. And we've looked at um, first, we've looked at three or four things. We're now going to go to the fourth one now. Amen. Psalm 37 verse 4. Psalm 37 verse 4. The Bible says, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Powerful. Delight yourself in the law and he will grant you the desires of your, your heart. heart so Amen. that means look at that very powerful scripture all your desires mm. all my desire i don't know what you desire in this year but god is saying he can grant you all your desires Amen. and you know the good thing about that god has the ability he has the capacity right. he has the resources Amen. there is nothing that you and i will need mm that God cannot provide. Amen. There is no desire we have that God cannot supply. Amen. There is no need we have in our life that God cannot meet. Amen. And he's giving us the secret now. So everything, oh, I feel like jumping. I feel like flying. <laughs> everything you and I can ever need, everything we can ever desire mm. can become a reality. Amen. So there is no dream that is too big. No. Oh, there is no aspiration that that is too uh, magnanimous that God cannot handle. No. But the secret, and this is the way it comes now, mm. the secret to assessing all your desire is delight yourself in, in the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. I think another translation, uh, translation says that word delight means to keep company with God. Keep company with God. Amen. Get excited about God. Amen. Let God pleasure you. Amen. Let the things of God be pleasurable to you. Right. Let them be exciting to you. Amen. Let them be the joy and the rejoicing of your heart. Hallelujah. Let them be the things that you are dancing for. Amen. You are running for. You are excited about. Amen. You are looking forward to. Amen. Every day. How can I you know, keep company with God? By studying his word, by praying, by fellowship with other believers, by talking about God everywhere I go. Amen. Just delight yourself in, in the, the Lord, Lord and he shall grant you, hmm. grant me, Amen. grant us Amen. the desires of, of our, our hearts. Heart. So I want to prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ you, that Father. there is nothing you desire this year Amen. that will not become a reality in your life. Amen. There is nothing you hope for this year Amen. that will not be cheaply delivered into your hand. Amen. There is nothing you want to taste, nothing you want to wear, nothing you want to see, yes. nothing you want to experience yes. that you will not handle Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But the key is to delight yourself in, in the Lord. Lord. So say with me, say, I receive the grace. I receive the grace. To delight myself. To delight myself. In the Lord. In the Lord. To take pleasure. To take pleasure. In the things of God. In the things of to God. To be excited. To be excited. About the things of God. About the things of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. It's so powerful. Amen. So all your desires mm. can be met. Amen. All your desires can be granted. Amen. And it's not that you have to work hard for it. Mm. He's saying... Take pleasure in me. That's because right. as you do that, God will be t showing you the steps to take. Amen. He said, with that which way you go, mm -hmm. you will hear a word saying, mm -hmm. this is the way. Thank Walk you, in it. Thank God you, will be giving you direction. God will be giving you inspiration. Amen. God will be giving you instruction. Amen. And God will be helping you. Amen. Because you delight yourself Amen. in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. That's powerful. That's so, so powerful. Go for Hallelujah. it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I'm looking at the time, but I think we can we can still take one more. Uh, let me read uh, Psalm 40, verse 8. The Bible says, I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. You have to speak louder. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. So this year, let us delight to do the will of God. Keep, be delighted. 
keep company with God, delight to do the will of God, delight to do the word of God, delight to spend time with God. Sometimes you are just in his presence. You just want him to just speak to you. After you have ministered to him, you have sung, you have worshipped him, you have praised him, you are just in his presence. Lord, just speak to me. I just delight to be in your presence. Sometimes you're not even asking for anything. You just want the fellowship with him. So this year, press, delight to do the will of God this year. And the favor of God will be evident in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Delight to do, I del that, and that's, that's the secret of our Lord Jesus. Jesus said, I delight to do thy will. Amen. Let's, de let's take pleasure in God. Let's Amen. take pleasure in God. Amen. And as we do that, we're going to see the blessings of God in our lives. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We want to take one more. And I think because, like you said, the time is fast spent. Let's take one more, you know, of this secret. And mo most likely we're going to continue next week and see how God will help us. Let's take one more. Of this powerful secret as we delight ourselves in the Lord. Second Chronicles 31, verse 5. You know, this is the secret to you know God showed us of abundance. You know, uh, in Second Chronicles 31, from verse number 5, 2 Chronicles 31 and verse number 5. The Bible says, As soon as the commandment came abroad, the children of Israel brought in abundance the first fruit of corn and wine and oil and honey and of all the increase of the field and the tithes of all things brought they in abundantly. That means, that is talking about, you know, to be excited, to be excited, to be eagerly, eager, eagerness in following the principles of God. Mm -hmm. That's going to help you be eager. It's not just what you do, mm -hmm. but your eagerness in doing it that's acting promptly acting promptly on yes. divine instructions that's right be, you know be quick to respond to the to the counsel of god mm -hmm. if god shows you something in his word mm -hmm. be excited about it the bible said they gave them a commandment concerning tithing mm -hmm. concerning giving of their first fruits right. concerning sowing their seed mm -hmm. as soon as the commandment came, came abroad they they acted promptly. They moved with speed. They were excited in doing it. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The Bible said when they began to do it, God also began to bless his people. Amen. And they had heaps of blessing. That's right. They began to enjoy the overflowing dimension mm -hmm. of God's blessing Amen. because of their eagerness to do. Amen. So as we stay eager to do God's word, the principles of God are going to be shown to us, you know, just like the prosperity message, the, the, the revelation of abundance in our life. Said, Give and it shall be given unto you. He said we should pay our tithe. We should sow our seed. Be excited. Be, 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 be delighted. Do it eagerly. Do it Amen. promptly. Amen. Don't tarry. You know, don't tarry. Don't wait until, you know, you no longer have you know, the motivation to do it. Do it with eagerness. Look at what the Bible says here and I'm going to read this. It says in Second Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 it says, but this I say he which soweth sparingly shall also reap sparingly. He which soweth bountifully shall also reap bountifully. Every man according as he purposed in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver. God loves an excited giver. God loves someone that is eager to act on his word, on his prompting, on his revelation. And that is the key to activating the blessing. But look at where the blessing said here, goes in here. Said, and when we are eager, when we are excited, he said, God is able to make how many grace? All grace. All grace abound towards you Amen. that you always having all sufficiency Amen. in all things Amen. may abound to every good work Amen. so sufficiency will flow in your life Amen. abundance of everything can flow in our life Amen. but our eagerness to respond to the That's promptings right. of god Amen. our eagerness to respond to the move of god Amen. our eagerness to respond to the things that god will show us because of what use is the principles if we don't act on them That's right. how would they profit us it's not just hearers of the word that get blessed. That's right. The Bible says, be not hearers only, deceiving yourself, deluding yourself. He said, but be ye doers of the word. Amen. Go ahead. You want Amen. to say something? That's powerful. I was just going to read um, the verse 10 of the second Chronicles. Go that ahead we read, read it. Verse 31. <laughs> it says, since the people began to bring the offerings into the house of the Lord, mm. we have had enough to eat and we have left plenty for mm. the Lord has blessed his people 
and that which is left is this great store so that means as we act promptly as we as we get up promptly to act on the word of god god begins to bless his people it is the moment that you get up to act on his word that you begin to experience the blessings of god this year don't delay whatever instruction the lord asks you to do do it like the mother of jesus said in john chapter 2 verse 5 whatsoever he asks for you to do do it you don't need to confer with flesh and blood you don't need to begin to ask questions the lord is asking you to sow seed go ahead and do it the lord is asking you to tarry in his presence go ahead and do it the lord is asking you to do something make sure you do it immediately as soon as the commandment came abroad that is where the blessing is when you act in obedience when you act promptly that is when god will release his blessing upon you and i see we see the blessing of god upon your life this year like ever before in the name of jesus the favor of god will speak on your behalf in the name of jesus christ you know that was the secret of apostle paul apostle paul the great apostle one of the things that made it, that that endeared his heart to god is eagerness promptness to respond to the will of God in Galatians chapter 1 and verse number 15. He said, but when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace mm. to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the hidden, mm. immediately, immediately I conferred not with flesh and blood. Promptness to respond to divine counsel is. is the secret to receiving all sufficiency. Amen. Promptness to re respond to divine counsel is the secret to receive the all sufficiency that God can give. Mm -hmm. Immediately, I conferred not with flesh and, and blood. Lord, Remember Abraham. Mm -hmm. The Bible says when God told him to take his son mm -hmm. to go and offer, I said, and Abraham woke up early and in the, in the morning. morning. That's, right. That's why I said, those that seek me early shall find me. Amen. It's promptness. Amen. That is what God is saying. We need to be prompt in responding to the will of God. And um, I can see the time is fast spent. We, we plan to spend just one hour with you every Tuesday and God has given us the grace. But before we go in this, uh, and I believe this has been a blessing to you, if it has been a blessing to you, let us know. There are some things that I want to share with you that, I mean, some information that I believe will help you. Uh, in this year, we are, we, are, we are waiting upon the Lord as a, as a commission, as a people. We are waiting for 21 days. But what I want to share with you, we are waiting in prayer and fasting. There is this favor package. God spoke to my heart. He said, tell the people, as many as will connect, every, every, every prophet, every, every anointed vessel has the grace that God has given to him. God speaks to me in you know prophetic manner. If you have desires in your heart, there are some things you want God to do for you. God said those things are is what I'm termed as favor package. God wants to deliver them to our lives as our favor package. So if you will inbox me or you go to our website and re request your uh, favor package uh, list, we're going to send something to you that you can feel back and send back to us and we're going to pray over them and I want to prophesy that those things will become a reality in your life. Mm -hmm. I can assure you by the mercies of God and the power of God and the eagerness of God to bless his people that as you Put, we have the ark of testimony where we're going to put them in and we're going to pray. And on the last day of our fasting, we're going to anoint them and release them as miracles in your life. Mm -hmm. So if you desire to have this um, a favor package form, just, you know, inbox me or go to our website and just send a, a, um, send us um, an email to request your favor package form. And we're going to send it to you. And when you receive it, follow the instruction. Then you're going to send it back to us with the instruction that is going to be given to you that is on that favor package uh, list. And as you do that, you're going to see the blessings of God flow in your life. So I want to encourage you to take advantage of it. If you want it, it's not for everybody. It's for those who will believe. Say, believe the Lord your God. So shall it be established. Believe this prophet. And you, you're going to receive a favor package from God. That means your desired blessing, whatever you want God to do for you in this year, God has already assured me that he's going to release it into our life mm -hmm. as a favor package. So whatever those things are, so request your favor package form, send me an inbox, and we're going to send it to you, and that will help you. And, you know, I'm excited about what God is going to do in the name of Jesus Christ. This year, you will not struggle. Amen. The blessings of God will fall on purpose on your part in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Secondly, I want to encourage you, you know, uh, to partner with us as we do God's work. We want to encourage you to partner with us. And one of the ways you can partner with us, among many other things, is to share this 
with your friends after even after this broadcast whenever you watch it share it on your timeline so that other people can be a part of it and also continue to pray for us as we pray for you we also want to encourage you to plant your financial seed into our into this ministry into our life so financial seed go to our website hoffan.org hoffan.org h-o-f-f-a-n plant a seed and believe god for a miracle tap into the grace of god upon our life tap into the anointing of god on our life tie a need to what you want and as you do that you're going to see the blessings of god overflow in our life what as we preach the gospel because there are there's there are visions in our heart there are so many things that god has spoken to our hearts that we're going to do this year we want you to to partner with us with your financial resources so a seed you know go to our website whatever the law will lay in your heart fifty dollars a hundred dollars a thousand whatever the law will be laying in your heart Partner, do it as your partner seed. As you do that, because we are sold out to fulfilling God's mandate. We are sold out to doing God's will. And as you partner with us, expect a miracle. Expect harvest. As you do that, we're going to be praying for you. We're going to, you're going to be on our prayer altar. We're going to be lifting you up before the throne of grace. And you're going to begin to see the hand of God in your life. So we want to, to partner with us and um, by doing that. Also, if you are in the Atlanta area or you are in Georgia, you are in the United States, we want to welcome you to church. Go to our website. We have services on Wednesday and on, I mean, on Sunday and on Wednesday. Like tomorrow, we're going to have a miracle service. Come and worship God with us at the Household of Faith for All Nations. Go to our website. Follow the, uh, even on our Facebook page, the church Facebook page, I believe you can find the address to the church. Or if you inbox us, we can also give that to you or call our number. We'll be able to give that to you so that you can come to church and be under this terrific anointing, this grace. There's a grace of God upon our lives that God has commissioned us to go and empower his people, to impact his people with blessings. Mm -hmm. And I know that your life is going to be impacted. So want to want you to come to church. Thank God for you being on the Facebook. We want you to come to church and be a part of what God is doing in our midst. Amen. Before we leave this, this day, I want to pray for you. Maybe you are watching today. You, have not, you are not born again. You have not made Jesus the Lord of your life. You know, the word of God says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And Jesus said, I didn't come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So right where you are, if you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life, I want to be able to pray with you. And I want to tell you that that will be the best uh, decision you make this year. As you do that, you are actually becoming a member of God's family. And all these things that we have shared in this um, in this few uh, moments that we have been together will be a blessing to your life. So I want you to say this prayer with me if that is your desire. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, today, today I open my heart to you. I open my heart to you. I ask you, I ask you to come into my life. To come into my life. Forgive me my sin. Forgive me my sin. Write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life. Make me a new creature. Make me a new creature. I believe you died for me. I believe you died for and me. And on the third day, and on the third day, you rose again. You rose again for my justification. For my justification. So today, so today, I accept you, I accept as, you my Lord as my Lord and Savior. And Savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving in the name of Jesus in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If you said that prayer with me, you just got born again. Congratulations. That's the best thing that has happened to you. Jesus has come into your heart. He has come into your life. And a new chapter has been opened for you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. So I want to congratulate you. Uh, and I want to encourage you uh, to send me, I mean, inbox me or send me a message. Let me know what you, 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 you made this decision. And also I encourage you to begin to read your Bible. Read from the book of John. It will be a blessing to you. If you are in the United States or you're in Atlanta or Georgia, come to church, like I said earlier, and be a part of our service. If not, find a Bible-believing church where the word of God is being taught like we opened and expanded it to you, where you, your faith can be built up and you can begin to grow in your work. So we want to encourage you to do that. Congratulations. Such a blessing to be able to lead you to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So don't forget, share this broadcast and, and it will be a blessing. I have a book on Amazon and everywhere books are sold, uh, Living the Blessed Life. I want to encourage you, if you have not gotten your copy, go get your copy. Living the Blessed Life is also on our website. You can download your copy today straight to your device. Wherever you are, there is a hard copy and a soft copy. So make sure you get your copy and it will be a blessing to you. Amen. Such a blessing. Good to have every one of you. Thank God for every one of you that's been with us today. We believe that you have been blessed and impacted. And we, we can't wait to hear your testimony. If you have testimonies, please share with us. If you have questions, let us know. We'll be able to answer it in the next broadcast. We look forward to being back with you 
next Tuesday, same time, and God will be blessing us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So until we see you again, uh, you want to say something before we go? Yeah. Until we see you again uh, next week, same time, want you to stay empowered and to remember that Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord.